Hello, this is Christina. I go by OMGYG on all the socials and I sell on whatnot. I just signed up for Jamble. I did my first Jamble show last night. It was a little bit slow but and different, but it was fun. People were really nice. Um, but I have about seven packages that have piled up here that I need to open. So I figured I would try doing a YouTube live. <laughs> this is my first YouTube live. Welcome in. I'm playing some non-copyrighted music. So hopefully the sound will still work after this is all, I guess it's uploading now, but anyway, let's see what we got in the mail here. Let's see what, what I always like wait to open my packages and then I go, I don't even remember what I bought. <laughs> so, all right. So this first package is from Living Bliss Vintage. She is on um, Whatnot. You can find her under that handle. Let's see here. i open this. So Whatnot has recently updated all of their shipping stuff. And I see that this was sent in a flat rate box. We were not supposed to use flat rate boxes for the longest time so it's so weird now that we can use them Let's see a little packing slip this box got kind of demolished there I don't know my, my post office I swear sometimes I think they actually peek into my packages <laughs> there's so many that I get that have like a little gap opening or whatever all right let's see. I always try to reuse this packing material so I'll just toss it over there for now all right let's see I bought so this was a top um she was having an in search of show which was really fun to watch and I just recently on my link tree actually um put in a google form for if there's like somebody looking for something um you can fill out that form and then I'm going to share it on my link tree with sellers so that we can all keep a lookout for the things that you collect or that you're looking for. So if you go to my link tree, it's linktree forward slash OMGYG official. So first thing is a lupa, pretty savvy bamboo lupa soap pouch, exfoliating. Use that in the shower there. And then this I got, I love dragonflies. And she had a tumbler. That's it. That's all. That's all that's in here. She sent a little pack with a Werther's and a sticker. What is the sticker? Is it a, it's a fish. I think it's a, what is it? It's something with a selfie stick. I don't know, the light shines on it too bright. It's some, it's a little person, a little green blob holding a selfie stick, I think is what that is. And a Werther's original. Yum. Let's eat that now. Let's treat ourselves now. That was hard work opening that first package. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Now it'll be difficult to talk though. So I guess that was kind of dumb to do that while I'm opening. But. That cute? It's a little Tervis mug or insulated cup with a dragonfly. Love dragonfly. Too cute. Too cute. Everybody is using this lately to wrap their to wrap around their bubble wrap. What do you guys think of it? I'm not sure if I like it yet. Because I can't reuse that part. Well, maybe I could if I carefully untangled it. It is nice because the tape doesn't ruin the the bubble so I can definitely reuse the bubble so that's nice but sometimes they're hard to open like buy stuff from Griff he wraps the crap out of it and I'm like ah <laughs> I don't know if I can open it I always get it open but you know what I'm saying all right what do we have next this one is probably from Jamble package arrived with just a little slipper in the back it's always amazing though. So soft. Sometimes it's so hard on these boxes. 
yesterday got a bag that literally was like open like this. Like they looked in there. I was like, okay. Okay, so yesterday, like I said, I did my first Jamble Live. And there's not, I don't think there's ever going to be a packing slip in these because they don't give you the option to print a packing slip on Jamble. I don't really like that so much because especially with the amount of items that I usually buy on these sites, I feel like I really need that packing slip. Otherwise I have to go back and look it up and see what I spent for when I relist it or resell it. So this is a Cynthia Rowley size medium. It's a little dress. And because I had just signed up for Jamble, I had some free Jamble credits to shop with. So I don't even know what I actually ended up paying without looking that one up because I don't think my Jamble credits covered everything, but I wanted to give it a try and see what, see, and I can't even share the seller's name. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm gonna have to leave it in the comments later, but, and then there's this Washington state volleyball. I thought my, actually, I thought my daughter might like this one because she likes to play volleyball. I've got volleyball down the sleeve. And at 22, and it's just a comfy big oversized sweater, sweatshirt, hoodie. So anyway, we'll see. Usually the stuff I buy for her, she doesn't like just because I bought it. All right, and then I have a couple of really old packages. These are embarrassing. Oh my gosh, let's see. This is back from April. April 5th. Today is June 29th. <laughs> it's terrible. These were hiding downstairs. I thought I had opened all of my purchases that dated back quite a while, but these two escaped the opening. So let's see what's in here. in a like kitchen kitchen trash bag which I guess when you have when you buy so much stuff then you gotta put it in a bigger bag would be so she sent a little card this is Lisa's posh place on whatnot that is her username and she says Christina thank you Lisa all right, let's see what I bought. I don't even remember. This is back in April. I can't remember what it was. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, I remember this. <laughs> Who doesn't love a shirt like this? This is awesome. Look at it. This is the only bikini I will ever wear. What do you think? Look at that. Look at those curves. Woo! <laughs> and then look at the box. On the back too. Maybe you should wear it backwards. That'd be confusing. It looks like just a stripe of color over the nipple. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is cute. Okay, I remember that now. That's funny. And then from Avenue, a swimsuit that will actually fit me. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Looks like it's in really good condition. And it is, is it a one piece? Yep, it's a one piece. It's in really good condition. It has a little bit of, a little bit of snagging, you know, like swimsuits get sometimes on the butt from sitting on the side of the pool, but it's cute. Let me see if the packing slips in here too. I can tell you what I spent on these items. I should have said that for, where are the, where's the packing slip for Living Bliss? Okay, Living Bliss, the Dragonfly Cup was $15.55 and the Lufa pouch was $5. A little two pack of socks. 
I'm not sure that I thought that she probably threw that in maybe as a freebie. I don't remember buying socks. Oh, and this was probably, she threw in a, a little bracelet. Gosh, the light is so reflective on the plastic. That was probably a cute little freebie. And then, and don't see a packing slip, but I have a reusable trash bag. Yay. And then the last thing that's in here is, how are you? Torrid dress, size three. That is cute. Isn't that cute? A little, little bit higher in the front than the back. I love wearing dresses and stuff. So, all right. So that was from Lisa's Posh Place. I don't. I didn't see a packing slip though. I hate that. I really love it when people put packing slips in their packages. It helps so much. You don't have to look everything up. And then I could share with you what I paid for those items, and you could determine for yourself whether it was an amazing deal or not so much. <laughs> all right. This is the other one. Oh, this is from Be Wild um, on Whatnot. This is from April 1st. That is ridiculous. Like I said, though, these two packages have been hiding downstairs from me. I did a garage sale live a couple months ago. And after we were done garage sailing, we came back to the house. And I did a mystery box show basically from the items that I had purchased on whatnot. I had so many boxes, like st stacked them all up. Some of you probably saw it, but stacked them all up um, by the fireplace and ran them as a dollar start. And we opened, we opened all the packages that night, sold some of it. It was so much fun though. It was like the rules were super loosey goosey because the whole point of it was not to necessarily sell everything or whatever. It was to get the packages opened, see what I bought. I did resell some of them, so that was great, but that was a fun show. Okay. This is from B Wild, B E Wild. She's on Whatnot. She is so fun. She's such a sweetheart. Um, so this is $4 is what I paid for. I love, she gave me the packing slip, yay! Um, okay, I paid $4 for two shirts, $5 for another one, and then some Brighton sandals I got for $10. That's crazy, that's crazy. She always does, Um, it's actually been a while since I've watched her show, but she usually does like bundle deals. Oh, look at this, do you see a repeating theme here? It's a dragon's life. Life is good tea, size large. A little dragonfly on top. Uh oh, dog, dog's barking. It does still have a little tag on it. Probably came from the bins is my guess, maybe. When I see that, when you see those tags, it means that what, that it either came from Goodwill or most likely the bins though, when it doesn't have another Goodwill tag on it. But she folded these all so nicely. Let's see, LL Bean, size medium. Same thing, it's got the little taggy. And roses are gray, violets are gray. I'm a dog, <laughs> this is funny. This is all style, size large. I like to buy shirts and things that I think are funny. And I thought this was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. And then last but not least, they're Brighton. They're not Buxton, they're Brighton. A pair of like snakeskin type slides. 
So I'll throw these up on eBay probably and see what I can flip them for. Um, I like Brighton. I think they're a good brand. I always like the hearts. That's why I like it. We'll see how those go on eBay. Okay, we've got three packages left. I think I probably am going to. Let me see. Well, let's just get them over with. Let's just open them up, actually, because I think this is 4th of July stuff. 4th of July is coming up here real soon. Today is June 29th. Stay cool. <laughs> All right, so we've got a patriotic cat, a patriotic cat. I cannot talk. Blah, blah, blah. Patriotic cat for five. A blue glass swan. Oh my gosh, a swan for four. And a pair of white ceramic doves for five. And Schmid kissing angels for five. Thank you so much, Christina. You're the absolute sweetest. That's sweet. This is from Miss Junkin. That's her username on whatnot. She actually co-hosted with me. I don't. I I ran across her show late at night back last year in 2022, and I just thought I loved her accent. I thought she was so sweet and adorable, and it's so crazy. She. I will always remember this because it was so crazy. Um. I asked her if she wanted to co-host and do a giveaway to kind of introduce herself to some of the people that watch me and whatnot. And so that night, it was so crazy. <clears throat> she co-hosted their giveaway and literally just like a minute, probably maybe a couple minutes after um, she, we ended the co-host. That was the night I got raided by crazy lamp lady. It was crazy. It was so amazing. I was the end of the um, the train, which I know if you don't if you're not familiar with whatnot, you're gonna be like, what the heck is a train? Um, but a train is usually just a selling event that somebody sets up, and they they add a bunch of sellers to the event, and then after you do like your time your time slot, and you send all of your buyers or all the people that are in your room to the next seller in line on the train, like the next train car. Um, and anyway, that this was, um, I think the second time that I had been on a train with a uh, vintage curator was the one that set that up. And uh, I, I asked, cause the first time I did the train, I was like the second from the last. And, uh, the guy that was at the end, you know, he had all of his stuff and he kept going and going. He didn't have like an hour time slot. And I called it what not shotgun. I was like, I told vintage Curie, I'm like, I want what not shotgun next time. And so that was the time that I knew I was at the end of the train and that I didn't have a time limit for selling stuff. So I was like super pre prepared. I had a bunch of stuff preloaded into the store and ready to go. And it was just such a blessing. It was, I, I remember somebody came into my room before the raid and they're like, CLL is going to raid you. And I was like, oh, who's, who's sell? <laughs> like I had no clue. And uh, next thing I know, there were like 800 people in the room or something. Oh my gosh. It was very overwhelming. Um, brought tears to my eyes. It was a huge blessing. And I'm still very appreciative, but it's funny that Miss Junkin, I still, I, I really like her. And I think of that night when I see her online because that was the night she co-hosted with me first. And then that happened. Ah, the light is just so bright. This cat is so freaking cute, but it's hard to show with the light. I'm gonna turn this off. There we go. Isn't that cute? A little 4th of July cat. Just in time for the 4th of July. <laughs> she uses the black what is this painter's tape I think it was electrical tape I think it's painter's tape that you can salvage the mostly kind of sticky but it doesn't 
it doesn't rip up the bubble too bad. There's one of those. <coughs> Look at it. It says it's from 77. Bev 77, these little white. Man, the light is so bright. I don't know about you guys, but whatnot makes my house such a mess. It doesn't matter if it's because I, I bought stuff and I'm opening packages or when I'm selling, I open packages and there's stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's like, it is just so different from eBay in so many ways. The social aspect of it but the mess it's just like you're moving so fast that you don't have time to keep everything as organized with ebay it's like you list and then you put it away and you list and you put it away <laughs> oh i think i got one thumbs up thank you whoever gave me a thumbs up on the video already I did turn live comments off today because this is my very first time doing a live stream on YouTube and I just, I didn't want to get overwhelmed by, I wish I probably wouldn't have been, there probably would have been maybe one person talking to me, but <laughs> this Werther's is really good living with, thank you. Okay, look, look how cute these are. So they're marked. SB Schmid Brothers made in Japan. But look at their cute little kissing angel figurines. I wish the bright the light wasn't so bright. It makes it so hard to see. See? Mm -hmm. There's a bomb. <laughs> it's so bright. Okay, those are super, super cute. All right, there's two more things in here. Sometimes, though, I'm like, the packing material in the boxes sometimes are the biggest bonus for me when I'm trying to pack stuff up, and I'm like, ah, I need another box. It needs to be a certain size. And then I'll go look at the, the boxes of things that I've bought, and I'm like, oh, perfect. <laughs> like a bonus. Bonus to your purchase. Okay, this is the other Bev, Bev bird. Uh, that light just washes him out. I'm going to have to figure out the lighting. I have to go outside, the natural light. It look a little bit better. So I think when I'm done with this today, I'll probably go get in the truck and we'll go hit a couple garage sales because I think there are two today that look decent. Just the new shipping stuff and whatnot is making me a little bit weary. Ooh, this is so funny. I had like three glass ones when I did my whatnot mystery box whatnot purchases, whatever I called it. This is really cute though, isn't it? It's a little tiny blue glass swan. The prices on everything from Miss Junkin were crazy low. Oh, I'm missing out on some deals with Miss Junkin. Look at that. The cat, again, five bucks for the cute little kitty. Five plus shipping. Um, the blue glass swan, $4, four. The pair of 1977 ceramic doves, $5 for bowl. And the Schmid Japan kissing angel figurines were only five. That is, that is crazy, crazy deals. Thank you, Miss Junkin. Okay, let's see. We've got two boxes left. My Werther's original is almost gone. <laughs> I think I'm eating this thing. 
looks like a box I packaged up for eBay yesterday. I'm like thinking to myself, wait a minute, am I opening a box that's supposed to be outgoing? <laughs> Confusing. Ooh, a whatnot sticker. Oh, because it's from Vintage Curator. She works whatnot, whatnot. Whoop. <clears throat> All right. I bought a tchotchke for three bucks and then I won a giveaway, I think. And <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, she put some whatnot merch in here. I love it. Thanks, Vintage Curator. Hey, Vintage Curator on whatnot. Here's what it looks like. You can read that. Vintage Curator. So she had this story that she was telling about, uh oh, the tape stuck to it. Look at all the whatnot stickers. I don't think, I think this might be the first official whatnot merch I've ever received. Look at this. She gave me a bunch of whatnot stickers and some whatnot bracelets. That's cool. And a nice box that I can reuse. Okay, so she had this story about how she went to the bin. I don't even know. I feel like I'm going to get the story wrong. But, <laughs> but inside of a suitcase, somebody had hid some shoes. And she came back to buy it. This was the giveaway. It's a single shoe. Oh, she did sign it. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. It still has the tag, a retail tag on it from the Goodwill for 57 bucks. Look at that. Peace and love, VC, Tiffany. But um, <laughs> she, she bought the suitcase. Oh, there's more, more merch. Where's, where's the thing that I actually, oh, that's right. I remember we switched. That's right. Somebody else won the giveaway and I chose a small shoe as my tchotchke. <laughs> it's coming back to me now. I, I, I chose a small shoe as my tchotchke and then um, asked her to sign the other shoe. And I think it was not so shabby. Gabby was the one I think that won this. If I'm remembering correctly. And so she and I switched. Cause she's like, I'll, I'll trade you for the big shoe. I'm like, heck yeah, this thing's awesome. I have to, I have to put this up. How am I going to put it though? It's a, I should move the sticker to the side so you can see it. Okay. There's one more box here. <laughs> that was nice of her to send me all that merch. <clears throat> one more big box. And I think actually Matt bought this one. Ugh, big old box. This one is from Belso Tech. So Belso is a pretty big seller on whatnot. They do dollar starts on clothes. And my husband was telling me that they just started doing, they started a new channel or a new, they have a new user profile called like Belso Tech. So let's see what he bought. I have no clue. Even if I bought it, I, I still don't know what it was, bro. <laughs> Right. This box cannot be reused, I don't think, other than for, I could cut it up and use it to wrap fragile. But look at how, it's such a weak box. All right. So, oh, packing slip. So he spent $14 on this, and it says it's a comfort desktop wireless keyboard and mouse in black. And then they have their thank you postcard from Belso. With all their social. Ooh, yay, packing material. Oh my gosh, a lot of it. Look at all their packing material. That was definitely worth it. It makes me happy. <laughs> like a keyboard, a mouse, and $14 worth of packing material. Right? <laughs> all right, so here's what he bought for 14 bucks. A Microsoft Sculpt Comfort keyboard and mouse in black. That seems like a pretty good deal. Let's, ooh, we should, 
Let's look at what we're selling for. See if he got a good deal. Where is it? All right. We'll just scan the barcode, see if that works. Nope. <laughs> oh, Microsoft Sculpt Comfort Desktop on eBay.ph. What is that? eBay.ph. It is twenty dollars. So meh. let's see. Oh, also on eBay. It's also on there for sixty-five. So eh. seems like he got it at the the low end of what it might sell for on other platforms. So anyway. I think that's it for today. We're going to wrap this up and see what other trouble we can get into. So I hope you guys, hope to see you guys on Whatnot. Again, my user is OMGYG. And uh, this is what I bought. I guess I didn't have any. Um, oh, I should show you. Oh, my gosh. I'll show you one more thing. This was one of my first purchases on Jamble. I will not say who the seller was, but this is the kind of stuff that I think makes people weary to buy clothes online. And I do think that it's really smart and I forget to do it half the time myself because you get so caught up, but to ask like what kind of condition the clothes are in. So this is something that I bought. Look at that. How does it look to you on the screen? Can you tell that it has a severe amount of wash wear <laughs> just from looking at it on the screen? No, you cannot. Sellers, you have to disclose if there is terrible wash wear on stuff because otherwise these things come to the buyers and we're disappointed. Look at this. Can you see how pilly? Look how it's all over. Pills, pills, pills. There's hair. I literally, I'm thinking to myself, A, if I was going to sell this, I would be disclosing that it had a tremendous amount of wash wear that it was all over pilly and I would show it close up like this but that's not happened because if it would have I wouldn't have purchased it um it's not like I absolutely love the Rolling Stones or anything but again this was like one of my first purchases on Jamble and I had credit so I literally ended up only paying like two dollars I think out of pocket for these two items but I also used my credit up and it totally was not worth it like that. I don't know. I would have turned that off. I still, even though you're not getting eBay prices on whatnot or Jamble, I still think it's important to, you know, make sure that your items are the same condition they would be for you to list them on eBay. Because otherwise it just feels like you're just trying to get rid of all your crap on, on other people. And I, I don't know. This is really pretty, right? Same thing. From back here, you can't tell that it is um, faded really bad. But when I come up close, can you tell? I still don't know if the camera does show that very well, but it's pretty faded. I still think that this one is wearable. That other shirt is only wearable for like pajamas as far as I'm concerned. But really kind, I, I mean, I won't shop from this. I won't shop with this seller again. And I waited too long to um, the order was closed by the time I went back into the app. Uh, so I can't leave feedback or anything. Not like I would never leave like, I, I would never leave like really bad feedback. I just probably like most people, I probably just won't shop with them again. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching my stream. And until I get some more packages, I'll see you next time. Bye.